What's up, everybody? Project Lightning here, doing a little scheduled maintenance. As you can see, I've already got the uh, air filtering all off from our Roush uh, filter here, our Roush intake, and the filter's sitting over here drying out in the sun. Should be about dry by now. Uh, and it's on Roush filters, it says does do not oil on the filter, so uh, I'm not gonna have to worry about oiling it, so it's just to dry it. So it was pretty dirty. I went ahead and cleaned it. Just got done washing the car, getting it ready for cars and coffee in the morning. Uh, and I'm gonna do a quick oil change next on it. So if you don't know how to change the oil in your car or just wanna see how I do it, stay tuned. So as you can see, I got the uh, filter clean, dry, put back on my filter housing here. Uh, let the mass air flow in. The way you gotta do this is Got to drop it in and get it through for your mass airflow here. See, I just kind of slipped through right there. Then you get it turned to the mass airflow is facing the right direction. And get the filter dropped down to where it needs to go. Them holes, them bolts lined up there. So, we'll go ahead and put the you know, two 10 millimeter bolts back in here. Uh, be careful. You do have to take this uh, entire assembly out to get the filter off. Uh, you can't get the filter off with this assembly still bolted down. Ask me how I know I broke these ears off and had to fix them. So trust me, be careful. It does not take much to break them. And you have to take this whole assembly out to get the filter off for this Roush intake. So I'm gonna finish tightening this stuff down. I'm gonna go ahead and click in my mass airflow sensor wire. Take my little red tab, push that back in. And I'm gonna get this boot slipped back on after I get these kind of snug down and get my clamp tightened up. And that'll be the end for this filter right here. Of tools to be used for an oil change, in case you didn't know. 15 millimeter wrench and a, I can get it in focus here, 9 30 seconds upside down. 9 30 seconds socket. So I have a performance pack. Uh, I know the underbelly is a little different on a performance pack than a non performance pack. So if this is specific to this car, then this is just how I do an oil change on a performance pack. So also, we're gonna need an oil drain bucket, and as you can see, jack stands. And so what I like to do first is go ahead and position my oil drain pan and drain the oil out of the pan first. So, it's pretty loosened, by the way. It was tighter than that. I just loosened it up so it'd be easier for this filming here. And I get it turned out the way I can feel it's all the way out. Take it out the way. Drain plug up here. And I'll let all the oil drain out of the oil pan first. Now, this was run uh, about 40 minutes ago up to operate, well, more than 40 minutes, probably about an hour ago, up to operating temperature. And then uh, let sit to kind of drain everything down. So once this is all drained out, I'll move on to the oil filter. So for the oil filter, there's a little flap right here. And the oil filter is right on the other side of the flap. So you'll take this one nine thirty second uh, bolt out, or screw I should call it, I guess, and take that down. And when you lower the flap, the oil filter will be right there. All right, so like I said, you got this flap right here. Take that bolt out, flap drops down, and right there is your oil filter. I bought another Motocraft filter. I like Motocraft filters. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Uh, I don't go 10,000 miles between oil changes. I usually run, uh, I think right now, this is the first oil change on this car, and I let it go to, I think I got almost 5,000 miles now, but I did change the filter at 600 miles. It's just something I do personally. It's peace of mind. I just feel like there's all kind of break-in metal and particles and you know gunk in there 
from the first startup and the building of the engine and the break-in of all the various portions of the engine that I just feel like replacing the filter with a new filter. And I leave the uh, factory oil in, just top off with about a half a quart to fill it back up from what I lost in the filter. So there's a filter, I'm gonna spin it off. Sometimes you won't need a filter wrench, uh, but most of the time, if it's your first oil change, you're probably gonna need a filter wrench. The factory puts them on pretty tight. I never spin them on real tight. Uh, most important thing with your oil filter is to make sure that you don't leave the old rubber oil filter gasket up there on the block. And I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about in just a second. Loosen up the oil filter, and I mean, you're gonna get some oil on like this wire up here and this door that you flop down. Make sure you've positioned your pan in such a way that you can catch all that. All right, so I got mine kind of sideways. Uh, kind of learned my lesson on my 2016, but I've loosened up the oil filter in here and got it loosened up the way it's draining. And I usually let it sit here until most of the drips are gone. Uh, the reason I drain the pan first is because if you don't drain the pan first, it seems like a whole hell of a lot more oil is gonna come out of this when you unscrew this filter than what comes out of it normally. So just be careful when you're unscrewing it, it's still gonna be pretty much full of oil. So don't just let it fall or you're gonna get oil everywhere. Keep a hold of it. I've already put my uh, pan bolt back in over here and tightened it up. And when you're asking how tight that should be, I mean, just use common sense there. Don't over tighten it. It doesn't have to be Hulk tight. What I got going on here is I'm gonna take this partial quart of oil and I always like to pour oil in my filters. Just kind of gives me peace of mind. It keeps the oil system from, from running dry and it might be only saving me a couple seconds of running dry, but a couple seconds does a pretty good amount of damage with no oil. So I always try to put some oil in my filters Remember this thing is at an angle. Uh, I'm not gonna fill it up and leave it all the way at the top. I rub a little oil around my gasket here. The reason I do that, it helps keep the gasket from sticking to the engine block. As I was saying, you know, beforehand, make sure that, that rubber O-ring right there comes off. Cause sometimes if you don't put a little bit of oil around the top of it, it wants to stick to the engine block. When you go to unscrew the filter off, this will still be there. And if you put the new filter on with the old gasket still there, these two gaskets are gonna meet and the pressure is gonna be too much for the sealing surface and you're gonna, you're gonna have a blowout. It's gonna blow one of those gaskets out. More than likely it's gonna be the old one that's gonna blow it out and uh, you're gonna be in, in some trouble there. So just make sure that you don't fill it and keep it full all the way to the top. And matter of fact, Probably gonna be the last time for me because you know this is gonna be a filter at an angle, and I don't want all this just to pour out into my pan uh, down here, my drain pan, and waste it. So, but I do want some oil in the filter. So I just want to show you this real quick. I can look at my old filter and plainly see that the gasket is still on the filter. So that's what I want to make sure I get the old gasket off. New filter spun on, nice and cleaned up, ready to go. I'm taking paper towels and cleaned up all on the inside there, uh, all on the mating surfaces before I screwed the new filter on and then uh, did a final wipe down all this, cleaned everything up. So now I'm about to uh, go ahead and secure this flap back up, let the car down off at the jack stands and start putting oil in. So here we are, got my funnel in. If you wanna know what kind of oil I use, if you didn't see before, uh, I like the Pennzoil Pure Plus technology the one derived from natural gas, using 5W20 full synthetic, and that's the oil that I use, and I use Motocraft filters, of course, as I mentioned before. So uh, I always take and pull my dipstick up, uh, really before I ever even get started with the oil change. Uh, pull that up to let it kind of drain off the bottom, then I'll pull it out and wipe it and do a test. Make sure whenever you're putting oil in, you know, this is in my garage, you need to make sure that you're on a, a fairly flat surface um, before you start putting oil in and checking. So anyway, that's my scheduled maintenance for myself. I go ahead and change my oil and oil filter and I washed out my air filter and 
that's going to be it for probably another 5,000 miles. And at which case, on my next oil change, I'm going to do another video on this UPR catch can to see how much oil it catches in between oil changes. And I'm actually going to pour it into a measuring cup, or drain it rather, into a measuring cup so I know exactly how much it has uh, gotten out. So anyway, thanks for watching another video, Project Lightning. I really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. Again, you can find me on Facebook at Project Lightning 1, Instagram, Project Lightning, and the number one. Thanks for watching.